Hello everyone, Tooth here, and today I have something pretty cool for you that I feel like a lot of you are going to find very useful in your Minecraft games. Uh, what this is, is an even item distributor. Uh, what you can do is you can place all the items at the top chest, and it's going to distribute it evenly throughout the four bottom chests. So why don't I give you a demonstration here, and I'll explain a little bit how it works after that. So first off, you can see that uh, we've got nothing inside of these uh, four chests down here at the bottom, uh, and nothing at the top. What we will do is we'll place a stack of 64 iron and it's going to drain out very quickly. You can see that there's nothing in here anymore and we can look in this first chest, it's starting to fill up and it stops at 16. That's because it evenly distributed it all the way throughout these four chests here. Uh, it's very small, very compact and really easy to build. Let's get started. So everything we're going to need is inside this chest here. Uh, we're going to need eight hoppers, four regular chests, two trap chests, four powered rails, two mine carts with a hopper, uh, two fences, it could be any kind of fence, but uh, make sure it's not a cobblestone wall or something, it seems to be more reliable with the hitbox of just a regular fence. Uh, two pistons, a button, and uh, just some blocks, I, I just have some blocks of iron here. Uh, so let's grab all these items and then we'll build it right over here. Uh, the imprint that this is going to make is about a 3x4 uh, and it goes about 3 high. Um, you know, it depends though because it, that that depends if you include these chests out in front or not because really you could put those chests underneath as well and it could be a 3x4 or if you want to have the chests out in front then it is technically a 4x4. Uh, so in this case we're going to put all the chests out in the front so we're just going to do the chest like here, alternate trap chests and regular chests and then we'll come around back we're going to put hoppers pointing into every single one of these and then on the ends we're going to do something like that and that and same thing right here point right there and right there. Make sure you shift click the hoppers so that you can actually uh, click and put all those hoppers on. And now we'll need to grab some blocks here. Uh, we're done with the hoppers. And uh, we're gonna build out the blocks just like this, in that kind of shape. And then we'll grab uh, four of our powered rails and then we're gonna place them on just like that. And now what we'll do is we'll break that right there and put fences. The reason we put it down, put the powered rails down first is to uh, actually line them up just like this so they don't connect into a line. And now we'll just get the mine carts with a hopper place them right there, push them in up against the fence. You need to make sure that they are lined up evenly, so right there they're even and they're pushed up all the way. And then break these two rails. Watch them for a second because they will sink down just like that. And once they sink down, then you're good for the next step, so we're going to place blocks right there. And then uh, we're going to go out just a few blocks, place two pistons, one right there, one right there, and grab your button. And we'll just place that right up against the block here and we can press the button and it's going to push that over there. You can see that there's mine carts with hoppers right inside that. And uh, that's basically how the system works. So now all we need to do is grab our last two chests and we'll put them on top. You can even use trap uh, trapped chests as well. Uh, those work just as well. And then if you want, you can place a couple of iron blocks or whatever block you're building with right behind there and uh, you're good to go. So now let's test it. We can grab, uh, we'll just put 16 blocks in there. You can see that it empties out very quickly and we should see four items inside each one of these chests. Now to answer a few questions that I know I'm gonna get, uh, you don't have to use power rails, but it does seem to be a little bit easier to push minecarts on it because they don't go crazy. Um, and then also, if you're building it in a different direction, sometimes the rails can be a little bit difficult to place because if I go like this, you can see that they're just gonna turn and go like that. Uh, but there's a solution here. Let me just fix that real quick. There's a solution. What we're gonna do is uh, we'll break out one of those blocks and place an iron block or whatever building block you're using. And then on one line, do it like that and then place the other one right next to it. Then you can break all those, replace your chest. Uh, in my case, that was a regular chest. And then you can place your fences right here and then just continue on with the tutorial. Now I have to say, I wasn't the first person to come up with the idea of using hopper minecarts to actually pull items out of the chest. Uh, it's been done many times before, and there is actually a design very similar to this that I found that uh, gave me some inspiration to improve the design and see what I could come up with as well. So I will link that video in the description below. Feel free to check that out and uh, let them know that I sent you. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, that's going to about do it for this tutorial. Um, I, it, at the very least, I hope you found it uh, interesting if you're not going to use this in your world. But uh, I can think of several uses that you could use it in your world. And so I hope you guys can I hope this will kind of spark some interest and maybe you'll think of some cooler ideas to go from here. That's kind of how things work in the Minecraft community. You'll think of something little and somebody will build on top of that. And it just basically is a snowball effect of goodness. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, 
um, we're gonna have to end things off here uh, if you'd like to uh, check out some of the other videos on my channel I do several other tutorials let's plays and all kinds of fun things like that so yeah uh, feel free to check out that and subscribe if you're enjoying everything on the channel and at the very least leave a like if you enjoyed the video uh, it definitely helps me out and I uh, love to see that everybody appreciated what I've made here so I guess that's gonna do it for everyone hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching Thank you.